So the first thing to decide when making a garden is how big you want the garden to be and how big you want the garden to be it depends on how much you can maintain. Like we're going to do this much. Um, <clears throat> how, how, how big is this, Ruthie? I don't know. I didn't make it. Well, Six by twelve, something like that, yeah. So the next thing to do is dig oh, down about more like eight. Eight by fifteen. Eight by fifteen or so. Uh -huh. First thing you gotta do is dig down at least six inches, maybe twelve, and get out all the grass um, roots. So that's what we're doing today. We're not talking about the band either. Grass roots, the band, no, we're talking about this kind of grass roots where you had to dig up the grass deep down and uh, that's a job. We're not using any kind of um, insecticide so this is for first step. Here we go. First thing to do when deciding how much garden you want to grow is how much can you maintain? How much can you get out here and work on every day? Because uh, it takes some maintenance. Uh, this area right over here is going to be the garden. That's, uh, that's my wife. Hi Ruthie. We're going to dig down in all this area in here, the whole thing. It's about 15 by maybe 10. We're going to, no it's not, it's more like about 20 by 10. Uh, we're going to dig up the uh, roots of the grass about 6 inches deep and then you got to go back and pull, get rid of all the roots that came up. All that stuff has to go. you got to get the ground ready for the planting. Then once you're through with all this, which will probably take today, you begin to put in uh, something along the lines of uh, garden soil. A bunch of bags of that. And uh, we're going to plant tomatoes. What else? Peppers, onions, um, spinach, potatoes, squash, um, Back to work, folks. Oh boy. Now this is Rick and he's digging. The, the roots run pretty deep, so we've got to try to get everything out. That'll be less weeding for us later. And we don't need the grass to be competing with nutrients that we want our plants to get. It, it's a lot of work at first, but once this part is done, you know, we don't ever have to do it quite this much again. And then uh, you were mentioning something about the first thing we did was come out here with a weed whacker and whack all the grass down to get it dead so it would be easier to, you know, dig into. And by the way, the day's February the 1st, our second anniversary. Today's February 1st. 2009. So we'll just keep this in sequential order and you'll see how it uh, progresses from uh, from here. That's especially helpful if you can get the dog to help you dig. And this will really add a lot of uh, uh, manpower to your digging here in, the, uh, here in the garden. Where Just get the dog interested in it. Tell him that you know there's buried treasure under there. He'll dig and uh, in fact Pedro did most of this over here by himself. I just, uh, there he goes now. Um, hi. Yummy. Get the whole family to pitch in when you're digging your outdoor garden. We're going to put these boards on top of each other over here. That, that, make it up by here. All the way around, then we're going to fill in this here. Once we get all these roots cleaned out. And then, what is that? A good worm or a bad worm? You want to keep those, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to keep the good worms and get rid of the grub worms. Pedro is the grub worm picker out here. He's an excellent uh, grub worm specialist. He knows his grub worms. And so you get the dog to look for the grub worms.
If he goes any deeper, he'll be knocking on the doors in China. Okay, we got this much of it done just with uh, the shovel and elbow grease. Uh, but we've decided now to go rent a, a, a tiller. <laughs> Here's the end result right here. Uh, go down to a depth of about mm, six inches if you can, eight if you can. Uh, we were starting out with three. We had to lower the uh, blades, but that's that's a that's a pretty good bottom soil. Now we're going to put two layers or one layer of uh, good soil, plant soil, on uh, on top of this. And then we're going to put beams on top of each other and build it up so it's like about six inches off the ground, and then plant the, the stuff in the uh, in there. The idea of gardening, you, you're going to get as much out of your garden as you put into it. You're, you're not going to go out and be able to plant seeds, throw them, some seeds in the ground, and go yippee okay, I got a garden. Uh, you you got to work. It's like a child. You got to work with it. Um, I'm learning that. But with watermelon at eight dollars, uh, a watermelon. <laughs> Not that we eat that many watermelons, it's just the price of the dead gum things. I mean, it's insane. And so the more you can grow in your, uh, in your backyard, whether it's uh, if you live in an apartment, you got a back deck, uh, grow some stuff and get sunlight inside, whatever you can do to uh, help cut back, make yourself less dependent on uh, the food supply that's been allotted to us. Okay, the last video is February 1st. It's March the 15th. A little over six weeks. We've had three days of rain, and we got some plants coming up. Ruthie, will you tell us what... I know these are onions over here, right? Yeah. What else do we have We have done? We have some peas starting to come up here. Right here. And there. Then through here we have lettuce, and spinach, and carrots planted. They're not up yet. Here we have our peppers. We have regular green peppers and... And that other thing is potatoes in a barrel. Now this is a barrel, just like a trash bag, but we cut holes in the bottom. Uh, and you put in, what is that we put in? It's dirt, but what kind of dirt? It, it's compost. Compost, okay. And then you plant your potatoes in there. You, now what do you plant? Little spuds? Well, you can't use the potatoes that you buy at the grocery store because they've been treated to not bud. So you have to go to a reputable place, um, home garden store, and you cut your potatoes up so that there are two eyes on each piece. You'll need to let them dry for a couple of days before you plant them. Now we have about eight inches of uh, compost in there and we planted our potatoes. They're starting to come up. And after they're about four inches high, then we have our buckets of compost ready to throw in there. We cover them up again, and then they'll come through again. We'll do the same thing over, and at the end of the season, around September, we just dump this trash can over, and out will come our potatoes. These are herbs, right? Yeah. Spicy stuff. Oh, I think that, is that cilantro? No, I, I accidentally bought the wrong thing. That's uh, Italian parsley. Yuck. But mm. under here is a... Uh, Cilantro seeds. Or okay. Basil. And basil and stuff over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I hope this has been helpful to somebody because I tell you what, it is some work, but it sure is going to pay off and it's going to all be organic and it, you won't believe the taste of a tomato that has grown out of your own garden. Because the ones they put in the store, they ship green. Well, these, you don't do that. You let them fill out red, and then you pluck them. And